What's up everyone, Tao here. Uh, welcome to Tao M Studio. Uh, today I'll be quickly show you how a three years old iPad mini 3 perform on the latest iOS 11.1. Now this video is gonna be short and sweet, so let's get to it. To identify if you have an iPad mini 3, it has both Touch ID sensor and a toggle switch. Uh, if your iPad mini has both, and then it's iPad mini 3. Here is the iPad mini 3 home screen. Uh, you may notice there's a red bar on top of the screen. Uh, that's because the screen recording is on. I think this is the best way to test the iPad mini 3 to its limit. So uh, throughout the video, uh, I will be recording the entire clip using the uh, screen recording. Let me show you guys. It is running on the latest iOS 11.1. Um, as you can see from here, uh, the version is 11.1 and the build number is 15B93. The maximum amount of app you can put on a dock is 11. Um, however, the dock will also remember the last three recently opened apps which are not on the dock. Uh, I'll be showing you guys uh, in a sec how the dock works. For the purpose of the test, I will be opening every single app on the dock uh, just to see how the Apple Mini 3 cope the uh, multitasking. Um, now here you can see I will be opening the Safari and the uh, Clock uh, and all the apps. Now bear in mind the iPad Mini 3 has the Apple A7 chip and uh, only one gig of RAM. Uh, so you probably will notice here the Mini 3 will struggle in terms of the uh, multitasking. Uh, see the now the actually opening up a lot slower now. Um, now as well as the screen recording is on, so this will give this Apple Mini 3 to a full stretch. Just give you a, uh, a really good idea how well the Mini 3 will cope with the day-to-day uh, -day tasks. Uh, I think this probably will be the most um, heavy usage most the user will use. So your experience may be different. Uh, so you may experience a bit faster performance uh, than I did. Here are all the apps on the dock. Uh, I will be opening uh, three different apps uh, which are not uh, on the dock. Uh, so just to show you guys, the dock will remember three originally open apps uh, which are not on the dock. Uh, you can see here is the message app, uh, which is not uh, on the dock originally. So it will remember once you open and then close it. And here's the reminder app. Again, I will also remember, and then here is the contact. And then as you can see, uh, it will also be remembered on the dock. Here are all the opening apps. Uh, in my experience, it did struggle a little bit uh, to uh, switch between the apps, uh, simply because it only has one gig of RAM. So this is where the Mini 3 struggles. Uh, but you know, to be honest, a can call the multitasking, but if you uh, do upgrade to 11 or 11.1, I uh, do expect the slowness of the uh, entire system. Um, now I uh, upgrade to the 11.1 straight from the old system. So if you do a clean install, you may have different experience. Uh, and also, as I said earlier on, uh, I'm using the screen recording at the same time. So this will give Mini 3 a full stretch. If you don't use a screen recording and do multitasking and the day-to-day -day tasks, uh, you may not experience the slowness as I did. Uh, so, but um, in my opinion, if you do upgrade, just be prepared of the uh, slight performance drop of the Mini 3. One of the major updates of the iOS 11.1 is the emoji. Uh, this is great news for you guys who use emojis a lot. So there are some, uh, well, apparently there are over 70 new emojis uh, been updated so it's great for you guys who use a lot all right guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video uh, if you have any comments please leave the comment section down below and if you have any opinions or if you want to share the tips with others uh, also please leave the comment down below um, so other people can actually see your experience uh, to, to help other users to decide whether they want to upgrade to the uh, latest OS now if you liked the video please give a thumbs up and if you didn't like the video you know what to do and uh, if you want to keep update with my channel please don't forget to subscribe so I can do more video like this in the future also it's an encouragement for me 
to do more video like this as well. Uh, so see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.